left, right. Okay, so all my parts for the shield are ready. Much simpler than the bazooka. Some missiles. Wish these were separate as well. Oh dear. Yeah, give us some separate missiles for this. Why don't you? Ah. I'm glad that this side is all covered up as well. Well, is that it? Okay, there's a handle. Oh, and she's done. Yeah, it's a bit plain. Definitely do with a decal there. Really, that's it? Okay. Shield done. Beam rifle next. That was a previous page. Sandwich of the trigger. This tiny piece out of the way. These tiddly pegs. It's going in a particular direction. Well, either way, will do. And oh, that was quick. Yeah, by far the bazooka is the most involving one when you're building it. Could do with a bit of panel lining this one to bring out the detail. Otherwise it does look a bit plain with all white underneath and blue on the top. No scopes. Why wouldn't there be any scope on this weapon? Done! And on to the backpack. I want to get this one done so I can attach him. Directly onto here. Yeah, I was saying, you know, the Gundams, you can build them in whatever order you like because the way they're designed is very modular. Build it out of sequence, no problem. So these are the little yellow inserts and they have grooves on the inside of the thrusters to match up with the liner. You have to get it just right otherwise it won't fit. Okay, and if you mess that up you can actually get a pin and push that out if you need to. If you want to paint it afterwards. Are they adjustable? Yes. They're completely flat if you push them all the way, but there are balls there, so if you pull them out, you can angle those thrusters. Don't pull them out too much. Actually, I find it quite tricky to line these things up. Done. So you have to do a pair of these. And it slots upwards. Ah, oh, there's a clip here. And it goes on around this rod. So it's going to snap in. Ah, so there's adjustability there. 
and individual thrust and nozzle articulation. Are there other nozzles? I've got some leftovers for the liners. Ooh. I don't like the grey showing through the bottom of that. Can you see that? Paint those black. Or yellow even. Probably black is better. So this is the, the right top half of his jetpack. And it's asymmetrical. Funny flap thing, hinge. How does that go on? This looks very strange and unfamiliar for me. Definitely a slot there for it. Oh. Oh. Everything fits into place. But how does this hinge make itself useful? All shall be revealed in good time, I expect. So this clips onto the top on this bar. Just a bizarre jumble of shapes. Okay, I got there. That's tricky, and this, this is quite unlike anything I've built before. Definitely, if you pardon the pun. A new experience. Very interesting design. Very interesting assembly. This bit looks much more straightforward. These little tubs. What are they? Ah, oh, the beam saber goes in there. Maybe I'll just stick the beam saber in there. Whilst we're here. Is this the wrong one? Never mind. So, I suppose that fits in here. Right? And this is the right beam saver. Stick it in there. Instant angle pose lightsaber. Did I say lightsaber? I meant beam saber, of course. And then the final cowling. I think I went a bit overboard. I normally would have stopped after I'd finished constructing the inner frame. But because I was so unfamiliar with this design, I couldn't tell what was the inner frame and what was the outer frame. With foresight, it's quite obvious that the blue is the outer shell. Anyway, this is what it looks like on the inside, and this is what it looks like on the outside. But actually this, I think I'm going to finish it, because the arrangement is, like I said, not symmetrical. It has this pot at the top instead of at the back. Again, it's a bizarre jumble of shapes to me, this. What? Okay, wrong way around. Okay. What goes in here? Ah, oh, it's the fin funnel attachment. 
Sorry, guys, for saying. <laughs> Flynn flannel attachment. And then we can slap it on the bar. So these things are articulated. For art, this would be, yes, to articulate the flin flannels up and down. And this one does the same. And it just hinges up a bit. What for? To make his beam saber more accessible for him? And there's, again, this cowling. All right, take this off. This down. That's what happens when you don't follow instructions. And then slot this in. Ah. Oh. This looks like a very tenuous connection. As I expect the fin funnels, that big line of them, are going to be quite heavy. Is this going to be enough to hold it? hope so. We shall see. Again. Similar to the other side, but different. Similar yet different. Good. And finally, is this really finally? There's this huge gap in here. Surely I missed something. What goes in here? Ah, okay, there is one more piece to go. I'm not too sure about this part here. Why is there this gap? Can't quite figure that out. I would rather it fit all the way. It seems very loose. Have I missed something? Maybe it's that middle part. Here it is. Let's hope I can still fit this in. Because I should have put this in right in the beginning. I hope these fit better now, do they? Nope. What's going on with you? Something fishy going on here. They can't be that loose. Can they? That took a lot longer than I expected. And that's a good thing. I like it when things don't go as planned. It made it interesting. Though well, I am worried about the looseness of fit. At least, did I trim something off by accident that I shouldn't have trimmed off? Anyway, I think you can tell I'm speaking in more hushed tones because it's getting late here. So, put this away. Bedtime for me. Now the weapons are done, apart from the fin funnels, I think I'll do that later. Six of them, aren't there? Are there six fin funnels? How repetitive is that? I'll do one for you, and I'll do the rest of them off camera. But what, besides the fin funnels, what would you like to see me build next? Good night, until next time. Come back and join me next time. For the building of... I don't know what you're going to choose. What are you going to choose? What should I build next? Oh, wait! Before I leave, I should slap this together. Look, I think it's ready. Ooh, that's tight fit. No! What's wrong with you? Is there something that's not meant to go over here? That I missed out. Anyway. Next time, I'll find out what's wrong with you.